Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Hi there, it's Timmy Joe, making beauty vlogs on the internet. No, wait, we're making a custom loop here. That's why I got the hair dryer out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Videos about computers on the internet. We're actually doing it. It's uh, it's almost set up here to do the bending. I spared you a lot of the boring details of getting to this point because I've been talking about this for a while. And it just it's, it's an annoying thing to figure out exactly how something like this is all going to fit into a case. And I didn't kind of want to bore you with the, the details. But I will do a little bit of a montage in a second going through uh, how, how I got to this point uh, where everything's kind of set up. So, uh, this is my first custom loop, and I'm wondering, is it even worth it? I mean, <laughs> a lot of planning, that there's a thousand dollars worth of, uh, you know, equipment going into this, when you could buy, uh, you know, the, the water-cooled version of a graphics card and an AIO, and, you know, $300 later, you wash your hands of it, you install it in an hour and a half, and you're done. This requires a lot of work, a lot of forethought, and you got to get make sure you have all the right stuff that works together. Like, I originally thought I was building in a much bigger case. I got a rad that's way too big for this. It's like this thick, if you see it over there. Uh, and, I, you know, I'm glad that this case was able to accommodate it. The FSP CMT 510, a really nice three-tempered glass like, uh, case I reviewed up here. Uh, but yeah, that's the case we're using all alpha cool stuff except for Enermax, another nice company that's been sending me stuff for a while. We're using a lot of their fans in this. We're using a power supply from them, their Max Titan. Uh, this is an 800 watt dealy. With really nice braided cables and stuff like that to make that pretty. Uh, and uh, we're actually using their pump and reservoir combo too because the one I got from Alpha Cool was a separate deal, a lot bigger that would just require a lot more uh, kind of moving about the case to get working. This thing I'm excited to try it out because, of course, it's RGB. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got all Alpha Cool stuff. We're working on a 7740X, 32 gigs of RAM. It's the um, Geel or Guile RGB RAM. It's uh, got a GTX 1070 with water cooled uh, that's going to be in here. I've already kind of plumbed a few things and mounted everything. We're ready to uh, kind of start doing our bends. See if we can't get this thing running and do a little bit of testing on it by the end of the day. So check it out. I'm Timmy Joe. It's nice knowing you because I'm probably going to burn the house down. Oh my goodness, we're all set up and ready to do some pipe bending. It's not easy. If you're thinking of doing this, you need a budget, you need planning, you need space to do it in, you need some power tools. Like, It's not just easy to get into custom loops here. And I think in the end, AIOs are so good, we're not going to see many gains. But it's going to look so cool. So at least there's that. So check this out. I already made a little outlet or inlet to put the fluid in with its own, uh, you know, ball gag and <laughs> whatever, ball valve in there. So you can, uh, you know, just cap this off and leave it. You don't need to empty the loop. There's that. Our first bend is going to go from the pump to the rad. That's one. There's two, three, four. There's only four bends to do. But the first one here, I, before I put the GPU in, I got to get this one out of the way. And it's an 11 inch. I've already kind of planned it out here. Uh, kind of goes like this. And it's that easy from the back of the pump. And that's what we're going to get started with. So uh, keep in mind you need you know, ways to cut the tubing. I think I'm actually going to use the hacksaw. 
might be a little bit cleaner. You're going to have some uh, sandpaper or a file of some sort. So I'm going to see which one works better there. You need a heat gun. You need uh, some soapy water so you can get your blue tube, your silicone tube, into your piping. And this is what keeps the, um, you know, the tubing from bending once it's at heat. So let's go ahead and get rocking on our first bends for this build. Some of my first bends ever in a custom loop scenario. Heat gun just died. My heat gun just died. I got my Timmy Joe glasses on. Yeah. I got my Timmy Joe glasses on. And when your heat gun breaks, what do you do, Gibby? Fire. Gibby, do you ever play with fire? Yeah. No? Yeah. Daddy can use fire as a tool, but you can't use fire, right? Yeah. See what I'm doing, Gibby? Yes. Yeah. I'm melting the tube way too fast and ruining it. All right, we need a heat gun. Propane, propane does not work. We just figured that one out. A trip to Canadian Tire later in a brand new heat gun. Let, let's try it again. It's done. It's done. I mean, it, it took all day. It took all day. I was, it was like 12 when I started this. It's just the hard line part. It was 12. Let's, let's, let's fill it up. Okay. Whoa, man. So I've got my little fill tube up here ready to go. I got the thing running. I got the power supply hooked up. Oh, yeah, I heard, I heard a pump going. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, this stuff... Uh, all, all in, uh, ger German. Yeah, it's, I can't read it. Uh, but I went on the internet and this is a pre-mixed con it's not a concentrate. So we're ready to just put this in the system. This is their coolant and it's clear, but it, it does not allow for whatever and what have you germs and micro things to develop. We're going to make it red with food coloring. I don't know if that's stupid or not. It's food coloring. Probably, but I want it to be red, and that's I had this laying around. Ooh, make it a little more red than that. I'm sure if we're gonna need more than one jug for that giant radiator. Maybe not. Let's let's see. I've got my little. Oh, it's open. Okay, my thingy's open, and uh, I'm so confident that I'm not gonna get any leaks. We're going to need this to be up higher, probably. So if stuff starts leaking all over my graphics card and my motherboard, it's my fault. And it'll be phil.com slash Timmy Joe. So this is, this is in here. This is ready to go. Everything's recording from what I, I know. Let's make it happen. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, on, why is it, why is it stuck, there's a bubble, circulating res is full throw my ball cock off let's 
shake some shit. It's really silent. That's what I noticed. I do not hear that pump at all. Come on undone, you son of a bitch. Kool-Aid in the in the motherboard. Fucking cocksucker. This looks like it's it's working. That's the the uh, rad filling up. That's gonna take a long time. One eternity later. Twelve Sunday and casual. I said casual. Ha. Oh. Huh. Oh. Ha. Casual. Where's my pump? Uh, pump's working. We got RPM reading. Hell yeah. Got fans working. One fan's not working. Two fans not. Three fans not working. We're, we're holy. I heard a beep. Oh, this ram sticks broke. Shiza. Shit balls midget. We got windows. We're working. So, oh, man. It's been a trip. Throw it to me in the studio. Boo. Whoa. Oh, it's done. It's done. Can you tell the theme? Can you? Huh? Well, you're going to have to wait because... It's this video has gone too long. I've been editing it for days and it's just it's too hectic to do everything in one video. And why not spread this around a couple videos anyways? Uh I've done some testing. I can confirm that even though there's only one rad and we are hitting the CPU first and the GPU second, the temperatures in this thing that I'm achieving are a little better than the AIO setup I had with the weird uh, cooler on the, the 1070 before with everything overclocked to the nines but we'll get to the performance and uh, you know what is this worth it and exactly what's going on with it in the near future in the very near future but as for now I'm pretty freaking happy with the way it turned out it looks awesome basically I'm using the original case fans uh, just for the white because it was real easy it has a nice white uh, setting on it the pump has a white ring on it, the fluid's red, two uh, fans are red, and uh, the RAM is red, and uh, there's a little LED light strip inside that uh, I have set to RGB to red. It looks really freaking good, and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. The only problem is, is uh, I need to clean the case up and make it presentable, because I have yet to, it needs a good Windexing, but we're done for today. Thanks very much for coming along with my, uh, you know, this journey, the first water-cooled build I've ever done, uh, custom loop, and it was a, a trip for sure. I definitely see the appeal of doing this, it just, it definitely takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work to get this going right. And uh, I would love to do one where I further complicate it by adding another rad in there and separating the uh, GPU and the CPU, uh, you know, so that they get their own, you know, cooling in the loop and uh, really go for some performance. But this is a Core i7 that you know, I delated and it. It's just, it's just toasty for freaking cold. It's awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we go over the performance, the data, and do some real hardcore uh, porn shots of this, tech porn shots. But for now, I, I have to go to work. I'm going to be late. Uh, yeah. I'm going. Bye.